So let's get answers to interpolate the nodal displacements and get the deformed shape. So highlight solution in the tree and select deformation, total deformation. Okay, and then uh, click solve and that will interpolate the nodal displacements and, and show you the deformed shape. And since there is no matrix inversion involved, that is a very quick calculation, even with big models. Um, and I, so one can turn off, you know, so immediately I see that the deformation is low near where I'm fixing it, and it's high where I'm applying the force. So that makes sense immediately. And the deformation is about 0.05 inches, um, which doesn't seem unreasonable off the top of one's head. Uh, one can turn on the undeformed wireframe. I like to do that to see, okay, how does the deformed shape compare to the undeformed? Uh, by the way, this is scaled by, um, by default. So if I want to show it to true scale, you know, the deformation is much smaller. Um, and to see, you know, just for viewing, you can, you know, kind of exp uh, scale the, the, the deformation. Um, and I like to turn off, you know, initially I like to turn off the, the contours and just look at the part, how it's deformed, because, you know, one has an intuitive sense of it. And so you can see that, you know, it's, it's, it's almost pure bending that the part is undergoing. Um, and I can, you know, go to graph. So let me go to graph and unpin that. And I can do an animation. And all this is doing is interpolating between the initial configuration and the final, you know, deformed shape. Um, that's all it's doing. This is a linear calculation. And so let me, and you know, I, I will drag this to the end so that I see the the final def the, the the deformed configuration, not you know an intermediate interpolation, um, and so again that looks you know reasonable, and again that's a good way to check that you know our displacement constraints are honored. So you can zoom in here and take a look at it, and then you can turn on the contours. So let's say we turn on smooth contours. So I go here, turn on smooth contours, um, and I can save that to a file. Um, I can animate it and save it as a video. Let me drag that to the end. Um, so that looks reasonable. So let me save the project.